Happy Form Friday, you guys. Coach Hanna here with Coach Alicia for Fit Body Boot Camp. This week we are focusing on ball flams. All right, so this is an awesome movement because it has a ton of benefits and it works your entire body. So before I get into it, let's show you guys what a ball slam should look like. So with a slam ball, bring it up and overhead, slam it down, follow it down, catch it, and bring it right back up. All right. So it's super important first that you are using a slam ball and not a medicine ball because you don't want it bouncing up to your chin. It should just get a light bounce at the bottom enough for you to scoop it up. So what are we looking for as far as movements in the ball slam? We want you to start completely overhead. We want you to use as much power as you can to slam it down. And then we're looking for you guys to follow it down and catch it as it bounces. If you're slamming it hard enough, it's going to bounce off the ground and you should be able to get underneath it and scoop it right back up. Once you have it at the bottom, we're looking for a good squat clean to get it right back up to the top. So this should be a fairly heavy piece of equipment for you, something that's gonna challenge you so that you are getting the muscles worked properly. So now let's talk about what muscles we are working in this movement. When Alicia is dropping down to pick the ball up, we've got the calves, the quads, and the glutes working in this squat movement. We also, once she's coming up, we have the core engaged because it's stabilizing her. Now she's working those triceps, shoulders, and traps in that squat clean, and then she's gonna bring it up overhead. We got more of those deltoids working, and now when she slams it down, we are improving the muscular endurance right here because it's a power movement. That is how many benefits the ball slam exercise has. So let's talk about what goes wrong in this movement. Oftentimes, we will see people slam the ball, but when they go to pick it up, they hinge down or they drop their shoulders below their hips. What's picking the ball up? The lower back, not the legs now. So if she were to pick it up like that, she's gonna hurt her lower back. She's either going to risk an injury or she's gonna irritate a lingering issue. That has absolutely no benefits. That's why it's super important to drop your butt. Make sure your chest is up, your shoulders are pulled back, and you are using the proper muscles to pick it up. Second thing we see go wrong, people often just drop the ball, they don't actually slam it, like that. So she wasn't using too many muscles there, um, not any power involved, so that's why we wanna make sure that instead of dropping it, that you are actually slamming it, just like that. Additionally, um, what we see is people will hold on to the ball as they drop it down, so they don't actually release it out of their hands, just like that. So they'll just hold onto it the entire way down, it never releases, and then you're kind of just doing weighted up downs. There's no ball slam in there. So it's super important. We'll show you guys a couple more reps of the proper way that you are slamming it, picking it up in a squat position, and engaging all of those muscles into every single rep. Perfect. We hope you guys have a great Form Friday and an awesome weekend.